This is the Cirrus Vision Jet, an aircraft that not only marks Cirrus Aircraft's foray into the industry of jet-powered aviation, but also stands as the world's first single-engine personal jet, offering a unique blend of performance, accessibility, and safety features. The Vision Jet features optimized engine performance for expanded mission capabilities, GoGo in-flight Wi-Fi for a connected cabin, as well as the Cirrus airframe parachute system for the possibility of engine failure or some other catastrophic problem. As if all this wasn't enough, Cirrus also equipped the Vision Jet with the Safe Return Emergency Auto Land system, another Collier Trophy winning system that allows passengers to autonomously land the Vision Jet with the touch of a single button in the chance of pilot incapacitation. The genesis of the Vision Jet can be traced back to the early 2000s, when Cirrus aircraft, already renowned for their SR series of high-performance single-piston aircraft, commenced the exploration of a jet-powered project to expand their product line. The concept was initially introduced to the public in 2006 as the Cirrus Jet, but it wasn't until October 2016 that it received its type certification from the FAA. The project was very ambitious, aiming to democratize jet ownership by offering an aircraft that combined the virtues of jet speed and efficiency with the simplicity and safety features emblematic of the Cirrus brand. But did they succeed? Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Cirrus Vision Jet. Stepping inside, there are three distinct seating arrangements available in the cabin, which may accommodate up to five adults and two children. The executive model includes broader seats in the third and fifth sitting positions. The more typical family layout features three cabin seats with two optional kid seats for a total of seven passengers, including the pilot and co-pilot, whereas the complete seat arrangement combines executive and family seats as well as a center console with folding tray tables. The quality and finish of the Vision Jet's interior just appear to be superior. Cirrus improved the carpets and added minor but significant conveniences, such as kangaroo bags in front of each seat to carry a smartphone and a side pouch to accommodate an iPad. For passenger entertainment, the airplane has a 22-inch drop-down LED monitor overhead. There are the customary USB connections, decent interior illumination, and rear cabin environmental controls. Another noteworthy feature is the Wi-Fi. GoGo in-flight Wi-Fi delivers industry-leading connectivity while in the air through GoGo's Avance L3 technology. The initial GoGo in-flight Wi-Fi subscription can be included in the Jetstream ownership program as an extra convenience for owners and operators. In addition, it incorporates another Collier Trophy-winning technology, the Safe Return Emergency Auto Land System, which allows passengers to autonomously land the Vision Jet with the touch of a single button. A passenger can activate the system, and when activated, it calculates where the nearest compatible airport is and then plots a path, taking into consideration both terrain and weather along the way, with help from the Garmin Avionics on board. As if this wasn't enough, this system will communicate with and transit emergency codes to air traffic control. The system will not just take a jet to the nearest airport, but land on the calculated appropriate runway and stop the aircraft so the surviving passengers can disembark and enlist help. Now let's talk about the cockpit and avionics suite. Cirrus worked hard in the cockpit to make the transition from the SR-22 cockpit as smooth as possible. Flying the Vision Jet is not the same as flying a huge SR-22. However, if you've flown in a Garmin Perspective-equipped SR-22 before, the jet will feel quite familiar. The aircraft is equipped with the Garmin Perspective Touch plus Avionics Suite, which is a highly advanced system that provides the pilot with a wealth of information and capabilities. The system includes a Garmin G3000, a 14-inch flight display, a touchscreen controller, and a variety of other features that make flying the Vision Jet a breeze. One of the standout features is the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System, or CAPS, a huge safety bonus that earned Cirrus Aircraft the Collier Trophy in 2017. Once you run the checklist and pull firmly down on the handle, the airplane pitches up to bleed off speed if needed. 
Then the chute deployment sends you into a further pitch-up attitude right after the straps elongate, then a pitch-down attitude before the airframe settles into a fairly level descent. It's hard to tell that you're descending at a rate from 900 to 1500 feet per minute until you get close to the ground. The Vision Jet also boasts an auto radar system, which automatically adjusts the radar's scan patterns to provide the most optimal picture of the weather ahead. This system reduces pilot workload and increases safety margins by providing real-time weather information. The radar imagery is displayed on the multifunction display's widescreen moving map, providing the pilot with a clear and comprehensive view of the weather conditions. Another noteworthy feature of the avionics suite is the auto throttle, which automatically adjusts the aircraft's speed based on the flight plan and current conditions and significantly reduces the pilot's workload. The Vision Jet also features a synthetic vision technology system, which provides a 3D representation of the terrain, obstacles, and traffic on the flight display, and is complemented by a terrain awareness and warning system, which provides audible and visual alerts if the aircraft is in danger of colliding with the terrain. The avionics suite also includes a surface watch system, which provides alerts and guidance to help the pilot avoid runway incursions and excursions, and works in conjunction with the aircraft's ADS-B in traffic information, providing a comprehensive overview of the aircraft's surroundings both in the air and on the ground. The Vision Jet is also equipped with a Flightstream 510 system, which allows the pilot to wirelessly transfer flight plans, weather information, and other data between the aircraft and a compatible mobile device. This feature greatly simplifies flight planning and provides the pilot with up-to-date information at all times. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Vision Jet is a single engine plane that is designed to be flown by the owner and it offers a unique blend of performance, comfort, and safety features that are unmatched in its class. Cirrus worked hard in the cockpit to make the transition from the SR-22 as smooth as possible. Flying the Vision Jet is not the same as flying a huge SR-22, however. If you've flown in a Garmin Perspective-equipped SR-22 before, the jet will feel quite familiar. The Vision Jet is powered by a Williams International FJ335A turbofan producing 1,846 pounds of thrust. The engine was approved in June 2016, and Williams developed the engine series for light aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight of 5,000 to 9,000 pounds. The engine features dual-channel FADEC and sits on top of the airframe immediately aft of the passenger compartment. It has a dry weight of 308 pounds or 140 kilograms and a TBO of 4,000 hours. Starting the engines of the Vision Jet is a straightforward process. The FADEC simplifies engine management and the single lever power control makes it easy to manage the power settings. There are two rechargeable True Blue Power Lithium Ion batteries for starting and emergency power. In fact, the Vision Jet features a two generator, two battery, 28 volt electrical system with a main, essential, and emergency bus. The improved batteries result in faster and cooler engine starts as well as significant weight reductions. The battery and generator controls are in a familiar bolster panel on the pilot's sub-panel, which should make SR pilots feel at ease in the Vision Jet's cockpit. This row of rocker switches has been in the SR since its inception. The engine starts up smoothly, and the sound of the engine coming to life is music to any pilot's ears. Once the engine is running, the aircraft is ready for taxiing. The nose wheel steering is precise and responsive, making it easy to maneuver the aircraft on the ground. The brakes are effective and provide good feedback. Taking off in the Vision Jet is an exhilarating experience. The aircraft accelerates quickly and the rotation speed is around 80 knots. The aircraft requires 3,200 feet or 975 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day. The climb rate is impressive. With the aircraft capable of climbing at 2,500 feet or 760 meters per minute, 
It's a different world at high altitudes, and the aircraft has certain built-in fail-safes for that. If there is a decrease in cabin pressure, when the pressure altitude exceeds 14,900 feet, the Emergency Descent Mode, or EDM, in Garmin's integrated autopilot lowers the aircraft to 14,000 feet at a speed reference 10 knots below the current structural speed limit and keeps it there. The EDM decreases engine thrust to idle during the fall. After reaching a safe altitude, the EDM will return the throttle to N1 or 83%. In the air, the Vision Jet is a joy to fly. The controls are well balanced and provide excellent feedback. The aircraft responds quickly and precisely to control inputs, making it easy to maneuver. The aircraft's performance is impressive, with a top speed of 310 knots, an average hourly fuel burn of 60 gallons or 227 liters, and a maximum range of 1,275 nautical miles, which is 1,470 miles or 2,360 kilometers. The Vision Jet is capable of flying at high altitudes, and it can cruise at 28,000 feet or 8,535 meters, while maintaining a cabin altitude of just 8,000 feet or 2,440 meters. This reduces the effects of altitude sickness and makes for a more comfortable flight. The first generation Vision Jet was limited to 28,000 feet since it was not RVSM approved, but the Vision Jet is RVSM compliant and can now reach 31,000 feet. That extra 3,000 feet of height allows you to travel farther or fill the cabin with more people or cargo. Using NBAA IFR range minimums, a 1,300 pound or 590 kilogram cargo allows the Vision Jet to fly a little more than 1,200 nautical miles or 2,220 kilometers at the best economy or 240 knots. If you increase the speed to 300 knots, you can still fly 1,000 nautical miles or 1,850 kilometers. Despite the greater altitude certification, the Vision Jet has the same cabin altitude as the original Vision Jet, and the difference in the pressurization system is now 7.1 PSI, up from 6.4 PSI in the original Vision Jet. According to Cirrus's Matt Bergwall, a typical mission is 800 miles long and weighs 950 pounds. It's simple, fly slower to fly farther. Landing the Vision Jet is as straightforward as taking off. The aircraft's low stall speed and excellent low speed handling characteristics make it easy to control during the approach. The minimum landing distance is 3,010 feet or 920 meters. The landing gear absorbs the impact of landing well and the aircraft settles onto the runway smoothly. Now, let's talk about prices. The base purchase price for a new Cirrus Vision Jet is $3 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $2,000 to $3,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is estimated at $150,000 to $250,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $800 to $1,400. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.